Hi guys, uh, this is Raj. I'm going to show you now to convert the PEM file into the PPK file. The reason I'm showing this video, why we need a PPK file, to, to generally, when we launch the, any Linux machine, the AWS is, will give, the, give us a PEM file usually. The PEM file looks like this. We need to convert to the PPK file in order to use into the Proti. So I'm going to launch any one of the Linux server. I am just choosing an Ubuntu server. Select. I'm, go, I'm going with the free trial jibble tg.micro. Next. I'm just using my VPC1. I'm just enabling the auto and public IP address. Next. Next. I'm just adding the tag. Name. Open to okay security group. You should have just selected the all ports. Remain launch. Okay, I'm gonna launch this. I'm just creating a new product called Open to download the path. It's downloaded as a PIM file. Okay, just launch. Okay, it's pending now. I'm just uh, pausing this video for a while. Okay, okay, guys. As you can see, the uh, the Ubuntu machine is up and running right away. Okay, we can go and um, convert the PIM file to the TPK file. So we have the now PIM file layer over here, and we have a Putigen software. You can download it in the internet. The Putigen is available over the internet, free of cost. Okay, I'm just opening this Putty generator and just loading the PEM file and just putting the all file and uh, searching for the Ubuntu. Okay, it's imported now. Okay, just after the import, just just give us save private key. Give us. And you could see the PPK file save as type is changed, and you can f name it as Ubuntu Ubuntu PPK. Okay, so we can save in the desktop. I'll just now you can see the PPK file over here. So we should. Take the public IP first for authentication purpose and uh, go to SSH and go to authentication. And you now you can show you a PPK file over here. See, guys, the, the put you want to accept the PIM file, so need, we need a conversion to the PPK. The reason is uh, this is like putty cannot accept the PIM file, we can now import the PPK file over here. Just okay, I'm just show the PPK file here and uh, I tap my AIP address and giving open. Okay, now the server is responding. Just give us to trust this client machine. Okay, now you can give the root and just enter. okay look at the guys this when you don't know the uh, I mean the username you can always go with the root if, if you give a root the the machine will respond what user you have to need to log into it, sh it will show the username that's a this is a good thing so again, I'm to going showing the P PPK file. Open. Now I can give the open to as a username. Not a launch. Here we go. So. Sorry. Like. 
So Ubuntu machine is up and running. So this video is 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 exactly to demonstrate to converting the PIM file to the PPK file using the put gen. This is our need. So thank you guys. We'll see the next video. Thank you very much. If you have any doubt on this, you can you know have a comment over.